What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Main Deck Monday, and of course, we're going over one of the most hyped decks uh, coming into Guardians of Rising, and that is a Tapu Lele Garboder deck. People are calling it the BDIF, and I definitely do think it's one of the strongest decks, if not the strongest decks out of Guardians of Rising. And uh, we're going to play around with it today, see what makes this deck so special, why it's so strong. Um, now, this list was actually is based off a, a Tosa's list. He's a Japanese player who made who got his day one Worlds invite with this list. Uh, he played an Oracorio and a Tapu. I think it was another Tapu Lele, but I cut those two for two Wobbuffets instead. Wobbuffets, of course, will help us against Decidueye. Um, I'm not sure how the Japanese meta looks like. If there's a lot of if there's a lot of Decidueyes out there, I don't know. I don't, I'm Japan. Um, but, you know, Wobbuffet with the Buy Barricade, showed off abilities, except for Psychic Pokemon. So that way you can still use your Tapu Lele, but they can't use their Decidueyes and Vile Plumes. And this will help you out a lot against that matchup. Uh, because once you have Wobbuffet out, you get the Garbo line, shut down abilities forever, and then you eventually win the game. Well, we're going to talk about the new cards now. Uh, the first one, <coughs> Tapu Lele, of course, one of our main attackers. You play three of them in the deck, and has the ability of Wonder Tag. When you play this Pokemon through your hand, onto your bench to your turn. You may search deck for support a card or villa and put it into your hand and then shuffle your deck. And that's why this card is going to be so special because the ability is just really broken and going to be used over and over again. It has the attack energy drive. This attack does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to both act Pokemon. This damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance, which is, you know, kind of a downside. Not hitting for weakness. It'd be really cool to see, like, Tapu Lele Wars going on, but we will not see that happening in this it actually doesn't have weakness or resistance at all and i think in the video i actually say that we could hit for weakness on top of lele but he doesn't have weakness so another reason why this card is so strong because there's no weakness or resistance uh, i guess the resistance part's not too much the weakness is definitely something and one retreat cost only one so uh easy to treat not no three energy heavy pokemon like hoopa is they're really nice for top oh, no hoopa's two um, Dragon Ice 3, there we go. But still, Top of Lele with the one retreat, no weakness, gonna be a really strong card, probably the best card in Guardian Horizons for sure. Now, our other kind of, like, our, our real main attacker is gonna be Garboder with Trash and Lynch. This attack does 20 damage for each item card in your opponent's discard pile. We know decks nowadays play, like, for Trainers Mode, for Ultra Ball, for Via Seeker, uh, multiple Love Balls sometimes. You got, you know, maybe Revitalizers. I mean, there's a bunch of different item cards that your opponent can play, and once there's like eight in there you just start taking knockouts and, uh sometimes if there's seven in there because we have a new item card in here that can help us out um garboder with traps trash light it's gonna be a really good late game card just to help us win the game it's gonna be really strong we still play the one garboder with garbo toxin to help out against like vulcanians and uh decision like i said but those cards do gain field blower as we do too um field blower choose any two combination of pokemon and tool cards stadium and discard them um so they still can't pop the tools off our Garboders, but we do play the four flow stones, so it's easily get it back in the field. Uh, they have to have a field blow, plus a lifesaver to actually knock out the Garboder. Uh, but we play two Tauros GX uh, for the Rage and Mad Bull attack. Rage is really strong, especially with the three Tapu Leles, because now they smack your Tapu Lele, like whatever. I can put down Tapu Lele. Guarantee that Ninja Boy is switched out. And that's the cool thing with these this Tapu Leles. You can guarantee almost any supporter card. So that's why you play the one Ninja Boy, the one Fan Club. Um, some people are playing Lily in their list. I don't know why they're playing Lily. I'd rather just search for the card I want. Um, yeah. A uh, one shaman helps set up, of course, like always. You can set up for six new cards in your hand, and that's gonna be all our Pokemon. Uh, two field blow, which we'll talk about, get rid of tools off the field, or maybe get rid of uh, fighting fear belts or other choice bands. Uh, two rescue stretchers, which is gonna be really good to shuffle three Pokemon from your discard pile back into your deck, or put a Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. Now this can guarantee you a top of your Lele search all of a sudden. Like if you have a top of your Lele that's knocked out, you can use rescue stretcher, get it back into your hand, and reuse it ASAP. A uh, really good card, and one super rod to get back our energies for the most part. Uh, or Pokemon, it's it's a combination, of course. Uh, for Ultra Ball, for via Seeker, even though we had to watch out for Garboders, you still need those in your deck to, for consistency reasons. Alright, two Hex, two Lysander, three in, one Ninja Boy, like I said, swap out any moment, which is really nice. One Fan Club, a uh, search deck for two base Pokemon, reveal them, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. Now, this is going to help us get it set up turn one, because we can put down top of your Lele, get a Fan Club, get two Trubbishes out, and just be like, alright, cool, that's all I really need is Trubbishes, so I'm just going to search them with Fan Club, uh, which is why the card is so strong in the stack. Or you can get 82 base Pokemon, which is great. Um, so you can get like Tauros. Maybe Shaman, like, any two cards were, like, great. Oh, yeah. 
the card overall. Uh, for Sycamore, of course, like always, three choice band. Now, this is going to be the scary card of the deck because all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you can do 30 more damage to an EX or GX. It's both of them. Usually, it's one or the other, like we see, like EXs, and when there's not EXs, you just hit the EXs. But now, you hit EX and GX, which is pretty crazy. Out of nowhere, you can do boost at 30 damage. Your opponent has to always do the math of, ooh, do they have a choice band? Can they do an extra 30? And choice band's going to be a really broken card coming to this game. For Flowstone, like I said, we need to keep that guard boner on lock, and that's going to help out with the, you can say, fill blower. For the shiny, shiny new DC, it's beautiful because Toppy Lele just needs the DC to attack. And seven psychic energies, and that's going to be the deck. Uh, energy, yeah, I think I talked about energy draft. 20 damage times amount of energy attached to both act Pokemon. Really good card, and that is going to be the deck. I think this deck is really strong. It's a lot of fun as well, just to set up a Toppy Lele. Blow some people up, uh, put a Garbo down, and uh, just do a ton of damage to Trash and Lance. Now, this is the most hyped deck coming to this weekend, or to this fifth set. And I know a lot of people are covering it. Um, so, if you want to see more Toppy lately, there's just a ton of people out there uh, producing content with it. But we'll see a couple games with this deck. And they have a bonus game against Pablo, which he already showed in his video. But if you want to see my side of it, you can watch that at the very end. Uh, so, make sure you check that out. But, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and let's see this deck in action. Alright guys, somebody against GT Savior, uh, looks like they're playing against the Evil Talk or Boater deck, and I don't know how any of these matchups go, like, this is my first time ever playing Tapu Lele, Garboder, so we'll find out here in a second, uh, they're probably thinking of playing Mega Mewtwo, they're like, there's no way he has Tapu Lele, cause this is the first day that PGCO has a new card, so we lost coin flip, we'll be going second, but, uh, I guess that's okay, I need to fix the, hold on one second guys, we fix this real quick, hold on, let me see, oh, we get a mulligan, alright, all right, so this should hopefully fix that little grain that was going on. Let's see. Hey, there we go. That's a lot better. All right, cool. How to fix the light. So, all right, so we're going to look at they were playing Rescue Strifter and Royal Choice Band and stuff like that. They know we're playing new cards and they see Psychic Energies, but they might be still thinking Mewtwo. Uh, we start to top you Lele. Um, I'm actually going to start Shaman. Which seems really strange, but we do have Tapu Lele in our hand, which Tapu Lele can get her a guaranteed a supporter card, while right now, um, Shaman does not, which is the good part about Tapu Lele. We can put a Fuzz on the active, put down Tapu Lele, search for an end, put a DCE, and go for a turn one energy drive, uh, then one attack for a... Oh, there is a Evatol on the active. Fantastic. Okay, um... What do we do now? So there's the Evatol coming down, okay. Luckily, Pitch Black Spear does not hit our Pokemon because we are not EXs. We are GXs in this game, except for Shaman EX. He is definitely a uh, EX there. All right, so Dark Energy Dimension. Uh, what I could do is DC the active Tapu, uh, Tapu Lele for a end steal. Okay, so in our turn, we get a Tor another Tapu Lele. So I'll still put a DC the active, put down Tapu Lele. Yes, we'll search for supporter card, and I'm still... Going to grab an end here and just end us for a new hand of sex. Uh, looking for some troubleshoots for sure, so grab an end. Uh, yeah, we'll just play the end and get a new hand of six. That's fine. We'll sky return for 30. And if he puts the energy on this guy, we can, we can take a knockout next turn. So we get an Ultra Ball, which we can discard a Sycamore and a Psychic Energy for a Trubbish. And he's already discarded one Max Elixir, so that's good. We have two Garbodish prized, okay. Uh, is Ninja Boy in here? Okay, Ninja Boy's in here, so that's good. We'll grab Trubbish. We'll put that guy down, and we will just Sky Return for 30. And then next turn, we can Energy Drive for the knockout if we want to. So let's go top you lately. Oh, to our opponent's turn. I'm uh, going to draw a card. Unless the Energy Drive can do 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, which hits perfect numbers. All right, so that's good. <laughs> um, if you can play Ultra Ball, VS Seekers, we can punish him because we can't get the Garboder. There's the Evil's All Yaks coming down. And uh, it's going to be Battle of the Energies, and if he doesn't one-shot us, we can just switch into a Tauros and take a knockout. So there's another Max Luxor being played, and does not hit anything, okay? Uh, so two Max Luxor, which will power up our Garbo to more. Fighting Fuel to the bench, which we do have that Field Blower in our hand to get rid of that, but I want to hold on to it right now, and there's an end. He will get rid of the DC out of our hand, unfortunately, but we should maybe still be okay. All right, Psychic Energy, Flowstone, a Ninja Boy, and a Sycamore. Ooh, three Psychic is in the active hand. But does he find a DC to attack this turn? There's a D even talk coming to the bench. And uh, we might just see a pass. Nope, DC to the active. And we'll see a Pitch Black Spear doing 60 to the active. And uh, hitting the Trubbish for a little bit of damage. Okay. So, uh, he did not hit anything with 
the max elixirs, which is really good for us because we can light it up and eat. Uh, we can, uh, you can't attack the evil on next turn, so that's good to know. We'll put a flowstone on the trubbish, and we are just going to sycamore. We do have that super ride to get those energies back into our deck. We just need to find a DC. There's a DC. We'll put that on the active. And uh, right now, we're just going to go for an energy drive for the knockout, uh, doing 100 damage exactly, going down to five prize cards. So we'll take that. Uh, there is a VS Singer coming to our hand. Okay. And. Let's see what he decides to do. Does he smack us with the Evital? Evital EX. I imagine he'll go for a Blivwing here. And we'll see the Evital come up onto our opponent's turn. Okay. And, uh, alright. So he's played two VS Seekers. <clears throat> That's it. No Ultra Balls. No Trainer Spell. No VS. I mean, he hasn't even played a supporter card, really. He played an end, so he could play VS Seeker for end this turn if he wants to do it that way. What I might do is put down Toppy Lele, dig for a Lysan, or bring up the Evital and just smack it for a ton of damage, and then have two Toppy Lele's kind of powered up ready to go. And then uh, kind of go that route. There's a Reverse Flag coming down, okay. We will see it Oblivion for 30. Uh, gonna put a Dark Energy Evital. <clears throat> Alright, so Flowstone, Reverse Valley. Alright. <clears throat> Which we can get rid of the Stadium if we want to. Uh, there's Sycamore discarding his hand. Discards a Lysan or a Dark Energy, okay. Which he can still get the Dark Energy out through Evo Oblivion, okay. And, uh, let's see what he does here. I so started enhanced here, but just kind of a DC of the active. That's very unfortunate. That's very unfortunate for us, okay? So there's a DC to the bench, Evital, with the, uh, no fear belt one, okay? And they're Oblivion to the bench one. Okay, so 40 damage, bring it up to 100. Alright, so let's see. Um, he got rid of our energy, which is very unfortunate for us. So, on to our turn. Alright, so we get Garbodor, but it's not the right Garbodor that we want. We would definitely want the EX one. Alright, so we can put down top of you, uh, Lele, a search for a supporter card. We could just grab another in. Um, we could go for a Ninja Boy, but that doesn't really get us anything. Put an energy on top of you, Lele, attack. He'll then knock us out. So, what we need to do is put down another top of you, Lele. We will say yes, and we're going to search for an in. Uh, just to get out of our deck, okay? Um, yeah, that seems fine. If we find a Flowstone and a DCE, we can retreat, attack with a Bench Toppy Lele. So there's an end going to our hand. We will... Yeah, I'm just going to play the end and give us both new hands. We get five, he gets six. Yes, that's fine. If we find a Flowstone plus a DCE, we'll be able to attack this turn. Uh, there's a... Okay, a field... Okay. We don't have one yet, but we have a Garboder. We can put that guy down, okay? And how many trader cards he's played? Two, three right now. Alright, so we can play Field Blower, and I'm going to get rid of the Fighting Fear Belt and the Flowstone, just to make it harder for him to retreat. We'll play Shaman, set up for 400 cards. Alright, yes, and let's see, what do we get with the Shaman? We get a Garboder and a DCE. Do we put a DC in the active and risk getting knocked out this turn? I, ooh, I don't know, I don't know if that's the correct play. Uh, we whiff the Flowstone, which is very unfortunate. We had a Flowstone, but we could retreat to the top of Lele and go for that. We could also go for a Trash and Lanch if we want to go do that. But I think right now I am just going to put a DC active and just swing. Um, he's already played two. Uh, we got rid of the Flowstone, so he needs an Energy, a Flowstone, and a Max Luxor to attack the turn. Or a, a, a Flowstone and a Max Luxor to attack with one of these guys. Or a Max, or Flowstone and Energy. Um... Yeah, he has to have some kind of switching option. Plus an energy. If he does not, then we're good to go. Toppy Lele lives for another turn. We can put a psychic energy on, like, maybe the bench Toppy Lele. Get that powered up. And then knock out... Well, we actually don't knock out this guy immediately. We need to do 10 more damage. Alright. Uh, but 70 HP left. We could find a Flowstone and attack with a bench Garboder. Because uh, he does have 2, 3, 4, 5. We do 100 damage with the Garboder, which is pretty nice. Alright, so... Uh, there's an Ultra Ball. I'm going to start two cards from his hand, okay? Let's see how many discards he needs. Be careful. Discards a Trainer's Mail. So now two, three, four, five, six. Doing 127, 140. If we can find... Oh, we already put a Fluster on the Garboder. No! We can't take a knockout right now. Uh, but still, a Trash Lunch can do a ton of damage. There's a Trubbish coming down. But I don't think he's playing our Garboder. I think he's playing his Garboder for shutdown tool, for ability. So Garboder, uh, Trubbish with the field. There's a Fluster to the active. And he will be able to treat this turn. And take a knock on our active. Okay, so Trainer's Bell, is that enough damage now? Is, did he just, like, put us over the edge to take a knockout? I'm hoping so, because that would be really neat. 
Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 160. We're one short steal. Oh no, Sir Sycamore. Does he discard a trader card? And he discards a stadium, which does not count. <clears throat> All right. So right now we're not taking a knockout. Uh, we have a full stone on the Garboder. Oh no, but wait, we can field blow our own. Uh, yeah, we can field blow our own Garboder if we need to. That could be spicy. There's an Evasol being set up. He will take a knockout this turn. And yep, there's a White Cyclone for the knockout doing 100 damage. All right, so he'll go down to four Bryce cards. I'm going to the Garboder put a uh, Psych Energy on and just VS Seeker for an in. Puts a Dark Energy to the bench. Evasol. I mean, he puts a DC to the bench. Evasol. All right, so it goes down to four Price cards. We'll set up Garboder. And I think no matter what, we want to put a Psych Energy in the active. There is a Choice Ban. We cannot put that on our Garboder because we already have a Flowstone on it. Oh, no. I was misplayed. We should have flushed on the the Trubbish, uh the Tabu Lele a long time ago. So we'll put a Psychic Energy active. We'll VS Seeker for an end. Okay. So we'll play the end. Give us both new hands. He gets four. We get five. And let's see what do we find here. There's a Choice Band, a Rescue Stretcher, and a Float Stone, and another Tabu Lele. Okay. Um, we could Rescue Stretcher for a Tabu Lele, but that doesn't seem really good right now. Um, I think what I'm just doing right now is just Trash and Lanch. Does not knock it out. Does 160. We're oh, so short. Oh, time. oh, maybe I should have top you lately for a supporter guard just in case he does get guard border with the flowstone out. Uh, but if he doesn't knock us out, what I'm going to do is retreat to Shaman and Disguiture for 30. Which will knock him out. Um, unless he puts a fighting fear on the active. Then we can put this uh, choice band. Make it 60. And then 220, which then will knock out the Eamon's all. Okay, so we're still looking okay here. Still looking A-OK. -okay. Um, so definitely put your choice bands on that. So DC the actors are 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. That will not knock us out still. There's Eve Ball not knocking us out, doing 110 damage. He is short. All right, so on our turn, we'll put a DC on the active. Um, Lodestone a top you Lele. Retreat into the Shaman and Sky Return. Uh, for the knockout, okay, so that's a really good play, because now we can put the top of Lele saying, hey, if you hit me, I'm going to be able to use Ninja Boy whenever, uh, there's a fa fan club and a Garboder going to her hand, we could use fan club next turn, get out two Trubbishes, we'll sit at the top of Lele, and let's see what happens on to our bonus turn, now once again, we can put down Shaman, put a DC on it, uh, Pokemon fan club, there's a Dark Ninja Adventure Evatol, okay, uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. He does not have enough for knockout. There's a license to bring it to the Garboder, and he will be able to take a knockout on it. No, oh, yeah, he's going to be moving for the knockout. Um, that's unfortunate. Okay. So he goes down to uh, three. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 140. So what we can do now is um, actually take a knockout this turn. And uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 140. Plus, the choice band will give enough for a knockout. So, put down top of Lele. Search for a supporter card. We will grab our own Lysander. Bring out the Evatol Yex. And he just used a lot of resources on this. Uh, we are going to Lysander. Bring up that Evatol Yex. We'll put a DC on this guy. I'm going to use a Rescue Stretcher. With this, I'm going to put uh, put a Pokemon from your discard file into your hand. I am going to grab that Trubbish. And that way, you'll have another Garboda for the next turn if needed. We'll put that guy down. Choice man the top of Lele. We will retreat and take a knockout with the energy drive. Alright, so there we go. Taking a knockout with the energy drive. Going down to one price card. Doing 170 damage. We get a Ultra Ball and a Garboder. Not looking good for my opponent. Oh man, he took the early lead. But you see, we can easily get it back. Thanks to Garboder. Top of Lele. Getting any supporter card we want. That was just really dirty. Like, oh, you think you're... Uh, he was all safe. Nope. I am just going to dig and grab a garb and grab a Lysander with a top of Lele, which what makes this deck so so strong. And there's Victor Street coming up, guys, of course. Uh, but there we go. Uh, my opponent was pro I mean, a lot of these decks that we're gonna see do not have any of these new cards. Like I said, I'm filming this on the first day the set is legal. Um, and a lot of people probably haven't traded and done whatever. But guys, we'll see another game with the deck here in a second. Just you know, keep proving that the deck is one of the most hyped and one of the best decks. Coming out of Guardians Risings. Alright guys, we'll see you in the next game. Alright guys, putting against Pedro Ignaco. Uh, looks like they're playing a Xerneas deck. Um, I don't know. Like I said before, I don't know how any of these matches go. Like, I think they're all positive. The deck seems really strong. Oh, this might be Sylveon, actually. <coughs> and uh, Sylveon's actually pretty scary because they can, like, get any three cards they want in their deck. And, like, grab, like, enhanced hammers and, like, 
the flare guards and maybe like run of us and energies that could be a big problem but we do have garboder which could work around like the uh enhanced chambers or crush chambers via sink or something like that but uh we get a ball and get a press done oh i want a turn one fan club oh i love fan club it's such a good card it's good to me i i love fan club but uh yeah fan club for like double trubbish turn one seems really good and you really don't need anything besides some trubbishes uh but Want to put it up when the active is it Sylveon? Will we see another new deck playing against us, or is it going to be a Xerneas deck? Uh, Xerneas is a fine matchup for our opponent as well because he only needs two energies to attack, and he really doesn't need to play that many trainer cards. Okay, so we get Shrubbish and Ultra Ball. We can Ultra Ball, discarding a Psychic Energy, grabbing a Topu Lele, grabbing a Fan Club if we want to go that route. Maybe a Hex. Um, that's not a bad idea either, since my opponent will have. Uh, have it like i don't know we already have a trumpish down so really don't need to use fan club too much but we'll see i mean what is my point of playing like if okay so there's that okay so it is a card deck. all right so what a ultra ball discard a ultra ball and a psychic energy i think i'm still able to go for top Lele here um uh, yeah just grab the top Lele, put that guy down and just hacks but as long as my opponent has an energy they're going to be pretty much okay here. So I don't know if I want to hacks or go fan club. I got fan club or any two, any two, what, any two cards, any two basic, whatever. Or we go hacks, shut down, shut down Seamus. But what does he really make dig for? I, I don't know. I'm going to go with Derwood hacks. I think I'd rather play safe. Go for the hacks, turn one, play that. Uh, put a DC on this guy, put a choice span on it, and just pass on to our opponent's turn. And we'll see what happens. Okay. So, gonna draw a card. Uh, next turn, top later, you can do 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, maybe. If we wanna go that way, uh, we can just play Second War. I'm hoping they put a tool card on Guard of War, and then we can use Field Blower to get rid of it. Alright, so there's the Spear Link. There we go. So, Field Blower will do some work, uh, get rid of the tool card off that Guardy, make it a little bit harder for opponent to um, evolve. Alright, so my phone just dinged. Alright, so oh, Snapchat. Add me on Snapchat, guys. Marking 22. Let's, let's get the party going. Alright, so there's a trainer spell, so that's going to be a uh, Power Network Garboder. Here we go. There's a Max Elixir, another trainer card of Power Network Garboder. <coughs> uh, we see a Max Elixir, okay. Gonna put a Fair Energy on the Gardevoir. Alrighty. And uh, just keep on going. Let's see, where does the party start? Stop, there's a uh, Fairy Garden coming out, and a Hoopa trying to use that Scoundry, but guess what? We played that Hex turn one. Do you not know what Hex does? Did you forget we played Hex? And a Sycamore, discard their hand, draw seven new cards, discard that Fairy Garden. Alright, so my opponent making the crucial mistake of playing Hoopa. There's another Max, looks like coming down, so one, two, three energies so far on the field. And we can get rid of this Fairy Garden, which makes the two Fairy Gardens gone. There's another Trainer Spell coming down, oh man, so many Trainer Cards. Alright, there's a Mega Turbo going to their hand, okay. It doesn't want to have a Fairy Energy, there's a Fairy Energy, we'll see a Geomancy. Now... Maybe he put down the Hoopa anyway because he needed another Pokemon to Geomancy to. That could be a 100% possibility as well. So, we see a Geomancy. Gonna put a Fair Energy on the Hoopa and Fair Energy on the Gardevoir. Okay. Alright, so I know the last game we made the mistake of not putting a, uh, a Choice Man on the Trubbish. But, we need a Flowstone to give it that free treat right now. So, the Garboder. Put that down. We'll play the uh, Field Blower. And with this, we'll get rid of the Tool and the Stadium. That's... That's a pretty good field blow right there. And we're going to Sycamore. Discard our hand. Draw 70 cards. There's a Trubbish. Tauros. Psychic Energy. Okay. So put down Trubbish. Trubbish. Um, let's see. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 right now. Which would not knock out the Xerneas. I'm putting a DC on the bench. Uh, oh, we already have a... Okay. Let's see. I'm putting a Psychic Energy active. Uh, put down... Shaman set up for three. We could put down the Tauros, but I want to find a Floatstone to attack with uh, Tapu Lele. So find a Floatstone, put that down. We will retreat into the uh, Tapu Lele, and we will go over energy. I meant to say that I want to save the last spot for a uh, another Tapu Lele. If we do top deck it for a Ninja Boy, if he swings, right now he's doing three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Oh, he can almost knock out a Tapu Lele. Oh boy, that is scary. But after he does that, we can use Trasher Lynch. It would not knock him out, but he needs another tool card. Oh, that, that's key there. He needs another cool tool card. So, Fairy Energy the active. Will he retreat with this Xerneas? 
There's a Hoopa. Go to your scoundering search for three EX Pokemon. Okay. And uh, let's see what he grabs here. Uh, only a Hex in our discard pile. We really need the Tapu Lele. Uh, maybe get a Lysander. We can't Lysander the Hoopa anymore. We take two prize cards. We actually take four prize cards off those guys. Guardian, Guardian, Shaman coming down. He only has room for one, though, unless he puts down a Skyfield. All right, so Guardian coming down. Now, if he's playing the other Guardian that has... I mean, I don't think you play the Skyfield one with... I mean, he might be playing the Despair Ruin. If he's playing Despair Ray, that's actually really good for us because he's weak to Psychic. And then, you know, Garbodor is a Psychic type. Is he weak? Is he weak to Psychic? I think so. So, Lysander, bring it at the bitch Trubbish, okay? And we'll see a Geomancy. Just get some energies on the field. What I'm going to do is put a... I want to put a DC on the... Uh, bear to, I want to... I want to... Put a DC and Sycamore so bad, but I know it's a bad play. Man, I hope we tough it in or a Lysander. Either one of those would be great. Oh no, our turn. We get a Psychic Energy. Uh, I really don't want to discard this DC, but I'm kind of like, kind of need to, kind of don't need to. He has a two and three cost. Either way, we float. God, we're throwing away the Psychic Energy no matter what. So yeah, we'll put a Psychic on the active and just Sycamore. Just discard her hand. Discarding a DC. Oh my goodness. All right, there's a Trubbish Garbona and a Flowstone. Don't put a Garbona in the active. I am going to put down another Trubbish because somebody's probably going to knock out this turn. And we're going to go for a Trash Lance. Just taking a knockout. Uh, just doing like 120, I think that's what it was. 100 damage, okay. So going down to five prize cards, we find a Flowstone, okay. And owns our opponent's turn. Let's see what happens. Uh, he can put up the Guardian, but he needs to find another Link. Guardian coming down. Oh, to our opponent's turn. Uh, Alright, so I think we're looking fine right now. We did discard a DCE, but Garbodo only needs a Psychic Energy attack. Alright, so there's a Fairy to the Bench. Uh, he's doing 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. There's another Shaman coming out, which does give us all win conditions right now on the field, uh, which is great. There's a setup for some more cards, okay? And what? Ugh. I don't think he's playing, like, Field Blower. I don't think he's playing any new cards. So, Spirit Link to the active, okay? All right, there's a Max Lux. Another Max Lux, all right. So, doing 120 now. Not going to grab anything. Do we see some more trainer cards play? There's an Ultra Ball, all right. So, that's fantastic for us. And let's see what two cards he discards here. Discards a Sycamore and a Mega Turbo. So, now we're looking at one, uh, four, five, uh, one, four, five, six... So 140. There's a Mega Gardevoir. Okay, so 140 is what we're doing right now. Uh, plus a Choice Band is 170. There's a Gardevoir coming out. And will he play some more trainer cards or not? There's a VF Seeker. Does he grab a Lysander or a Sycamore right now? There's a Sycamore. So that's 8. Alright, so 160. Does he play two more trainer cards? If he does, we'll be able to take a knock on this turn. <coughs> I just have an X on it. Why does it have an X? That's really strange. Okay. <clears throat> they took a knockout. Going down to five. <clears throat> we'll set up Trubbish. All right. So, Odar turn. Uh, let's see. What can we do? I wish we had a Colors in the deck. There's that VS Seeker, which... Oh, man. All right. So, we have a couple of options. We can put it on top of your lane, go for Lysander, break a Hoopa, just take a knockout on it, which seems fine. But then we need to deal with this Gardevoir. Uh, I really want to go for Lysander, though, and just knock out a Hoopa. And then maybe VS for another life and knock out another Hoopa. And then maybe VS for Shaman to win the game. Because he'll need a bunch of VS Seekers to actually knock us out. So we'll go for Tapu Lele. Yes. We'll search for a Lysander. We'll bring up a bench uh, Hoopa. All right, so Lysander. Bring it up the Hoopa. And we would uh, put a Flustone on Shaman. Put a Flustone on the other Tapu Lele. Just in case he ends us. And we will go for a... We'll put a Choice Band in one of the Trubbishes as well, and it'll go for a Trash Lynch. Just trying to use as much resources as we can if he does play it in this turn to bring us down to three. So there's 360 damage going down to the Trubbish. We're doing 180 right now. There's a Lysander and an end going into our hand. Does he play more trainer cards? If he plays a six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If he plays one more trainer card, we can't take a knockout with this bench Trubbish if we find a Garboder. All right, so there's a Fader Juice to the bench Gar Gar Gardevoir, okay? There's a Brock's Grit. Uh, show five new combination Pokemon injuries back to his deck. Okay. <sighs> Alrighty. And, uh, there's the Guardians, Zernius, Fairy, 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 Hoopa. Alright, so those five cards go into his deck. Will he play a VS Seeker this turn? He has only played, uh, I think just one so far, correct? Yeah, just one VS Seeker. 
Will he be a secret for something and let us have a not, not well, it doesn't guarantee it as a knockout, but it's a really good shot for us for sure. Alright. Uh we just need a select energy, which we've played four so far. Ooh, we only have three energies left actually. Alright. Um Let's see. Let's see here. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 140. There's a brilliant air for the knockout going down to four prize cards, doing 210 damage, okay? Uh, we're going to send a top you Lele, and I think I just want to, I really just want to VS it for a second more. And, but we, uh, man, all right, there's a, ooh, a field blower. So we will use field blower, get that off the active. Uh, press done, so we'll get the spear like off the active. We're going to be a Seeker for a Sycamore and dig for a Garboder plus an Energy. If we do, we will be... Oh, that's not, that's not a Sycamore. If we do, we will win the we will win the game, but we'll take out his only Gardevoir. So let's play Sycamore, discard her hand, draw on seven new guards. There's an Ultra Ball, a DCE, but no, we don't find one right now. Oh, no. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Ultra Ball, discard an Ultra Ball and end to grab... Man... Okay, we go for Sky Return this turn. There's two Psychic Energies left in our deck. Alright, so I'm gonna grab a Garboder. Okay. We'll put a Garboder down. I will put down the Wobbuffet. I will put a DC on the Shape and a Treat and actually go for a Sky Return, okay? So Retreat, go for Sky Return for 30. Send in the Wobbuffet saying, hey, you need a Lysander this turn and a back to back Lysander of that. Uh, so send a Wobbuffet, Ultra opponent's turn. His abilities are shut down. That doesn't really matter too much, okay? Uh, there's four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a fair drop, ten. All right, so we're doing 200 damage now. Uh, all right, so we're really close. Oh, we should have put a choice pin on this rubbish. The max looks so now we're doing 220 damage with our Garboders. All right, so he needs a Lysander this turn to bring up Tapu Lele. Then another Lysander to knock out another Tapu Lele to guarantee him the game. Does he have back-to-back -back Lysander? There's an Ultra Ball discarding two cards from his hand. Can he find a Lysander? Um, he also needs a Spirit League plus an Energy. We need some cards as well. Alright, so it and Shaman being discarded, okay. Alright, there's another Guard coming out. Does he have a Leak in hand? We've already discarded two. And he is just going to Mega Evolve to end his turn. Oh, to our turn. Alright, so we've got a Flow Stone on the active. We'll put a Choice Bit on the Garboder. And... I really just want a VS Seeker for the so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, so what I'm going to do, 1, 2, 3, 4, we can go for 24, we can do 80. I'm just going to VS Seeker for Sycamore, just discard our hand, draw 70 cards, just digging for a Psyche Energy. If we find a Psyche Energy, we take a knock on all this Gardevoir. So let's see, do we find one of our last two Psychics? And we do, so that's fantastic. We put a Psyche Energy in the Garboder. We will retreat. Into the Garboder, and we'll take another knockout, making him, like, forcing him to attack our Garboder. If he does not, he'll lose game to 290 damage, take like two prize cards. There's a Super Rod and a Hex Maniac. That Super Rod will guarantee us to win next turn, because we can Super Rod shuffle the Garboder and a Psychic Energy and a Psychic Energy back into our deck, or double Garboder. Psych like, we're looking good. It's going to come down to an end if he has one. It's a Super Rod. Uh, right now, it's Fairly is doing 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. He actually does not even knock on a, a Tabu Lele right now, which is great for us. All right, so Super Run doing even more damage. There's Guardi, uh, Fairy Guardi, okay? And you can see why this deck is going to be so dominating in the format. So there's it. We're going to end at 1. What do we find with this 1 end? Do we find a Shame? Oh, uh, we have Shame is gone. Uh, Tabu, okay, <laughs> Sycamore! Thank you, Pokemon! All right, so Sycamore coming to our hand. It does not guarantee us the game just yet. We need, like, a Rescue Energy plus an Energy. He's going to go down to three, though. I was in the Wobbuffet. Own our turn. Uh, let's see what happens. We find a Wobbuffet. We're just going to stick a more, discard our hand, draw on seven new cards. There's a Rescue Stretcher and a Psychic Energy and the Raw Garboder. But we can Rescue Stretcher, grabbing a Pokemon from a discard pile into our hand, grabbing the Garboder, putting that down. Putting a Psychic Energy on it, and it will do even more damage, and we'll take the game with the Trash Lance Top of Lele deck. So, trade into Garboner, use that Trash Lance doing 350 damage, 320, 350, uh, 310. I don't know, what math am I doing? Taking a knockout, taking finding our last Psychic Energy, and there we go. There is the Top of Lele Garboner deck. Oh my goodness, guys, you can see why this deck's so strong. Just 
be able to get guarantee you any supporter card with the Tapu Lele is broken and probably is going to be one of the strongest decks uh, from now on. Like, it is definitely really strong now. These uh, decks will evolve now. People will not be playing that many trainer cards. This is a very, like I said, this is the first thing to set out. So people are going to be, like, you know, playing old decks still, not updating it. But we show the power of, you know, Field Blower. We show the power of Garboner, Tapu Lele. This, set, this deck is really good. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a fantastic Monday. Alrighty. Bye. Alright, guys. I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye. Alright, so we're playing against Tabamon himself. And I think we're playing a mirror match drive. Just to let you know. First, nice. Oh man. Oh man, I'm excited. I got some popcorn ready. Play against Tablemon. Um What is he play? What is this? Okay, it's the other Trubbish. I don't think that Trubbish is as good as the Irish Trubbish. I think ours is better. Oh, there's an Ultra Ball. Alright, that's good for us. That's, oh, just cards. Oh, Ultra Ball and Fan Club. What's he is it alright, what's he playing here? Uh-huh. Alright, alright, alright. Psychic so Reactive, Shaman for four. Okay. All right, guys. What does Tablemon have for us here? I think it's funny they're playing as Pablo. Round number one. Um, I did have music going, guys, but I don't know how. Voice band the app. Ooh, ooh. Turn one hex. All right. So. Oh, all right, Pablo. I see what you did there. Toros. You know what? We can do that too. We can grab our own Toros. <laughs> we'll do the same thing too. Sure, put down Toros. Uh, Floodstone, BS Seeker for Sycamore. I mean, the only downside is we're putting a bunch of poke, a bunch of trainer cards in this card pile, so Garboda can punish us. There's a Travis, we'll put that down. He's we got a uh, field blower, but I don't want to play it right now. Uh horn attack is really not that scary. So I'm gonna fill no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fill blower. Put a DC on the Toros. Retreat. And rage for 20. Okay. So we're gonna rage for 20 here. He might rage for 50 back. Now, if he does, we could maybe mad bull GX if we get our own choice band take a knockout. Now, he doesn't know to play Wadfed. That's a secret. Don't we'll keep the Wadfed a secret. It's a spicy card. Spicy. But our hand's not that good right now. Like, we have no supporter card. So, it's like he's reactive. Okay. Alright. Does he Horn Attack? Does he Rage? Well, Rage actually does 470. And then we can Mad Bull for the knockout. Uh, yeah, that's the thing we can do. Okay. There's a type of Layla coming down. Where's this Hyper Rare? Come on, pa Pablo. I know you have all the cards. It's a demo count versus demo count. What are you doing? Come on, man. All right. Dude, he ain't trash lantern this turn. I'll tell you that much. All right, let's see what Pablo's got for us. Man, I'm sorry guys that I'm eating some uh some some veggie straws right now. You want some veggie straw guys? They're good for you. They're almost all out though. Almost all out. The problem he probably uses the regular so they're easy to read. But look, we're trying to bling our deck out here. Come on now. Alright. I'm not sure what he grabbed there. Yeah, he does yeah. That's true. That's true. Yep. Alright, so there's a Garboder. Ooh, that's the ability one, okay? That's not the one I thought it was going to go down. I'm definitely... Well, I played one of the other ones, so... Not too bad. So, three of the discard pile. There's a Flustone to the bench Garboder. Shutting down abilities and Horn Attack. So, what we can do is take a knockout here. Uh, we should have used Top 8 Layla last turn to get out an ability. Um... Uh, but that's fine. I'm going to put a DC on the bench, uh, Tapu Lele. And I'm just going to Horn Attack. F 9, 10, 11. 
So we have to go for a Mad Bull for the knockout. We're using our Mad. We're using our GX tack right now, but uh, we'll take two prize cards. There's a Garboder and a Hex Maniac. So if he attacks with this Tapu Lele, we can actually take a knockout this turn because he has one, two, three, four. Oh no, actually eighty. He needs to put one more tool down, which we could use uh, Billboard or take him off off the Flowstones, and that would be a double knock. That'd be a knockout. But no, there's an in. No. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right, so he gets rid of our Garboder plus our Psychic Energy, or Psych Energy, okay? Psychic Energy, okay. We have Choice Band, but we don't have... Oh, no. Okay, all right. We don't have our our Garboder anymore. We had Garboder. We'll take a knockout right now. All right, so we'll see what happens. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 130. We can do 130 with this guy. If we went to, we could... I don't know. I don't know. He's just going to pass? Oh, he is scared right now. All right, so we got a Ninja Boy. Um, we can just rage for the knockout, which is fine. I'm going to put a Psyche Energy on the Trubbish and just rage for the knockout. Yes, Dimple Count's already got the new set. We are good to go. So three. Uh, we find a Garbode. I wonder why he didn't throw his Tapu Lele. He must be scared of something. Here comes Shaman, okay. All right. So, all right. So, uh, okay. So, Psychic Energy on the top of Lele. Is he going to swing? Uh, 20, 40, 60, 800. All right. Oh, he actually didn't have enough for a knockout last turn. That's why. But now, if he attacks, he can put down Garbarder. This is a rescue stretcher, grabbing one card out of his discard pile. I wonder what he'll decide to get. Probably a Trubbish. Oh, Tauros. Okay. You think he'd grab maybe Trubbish or he have Attacker? Okay, and just going to energy drive for the knockout, but we have our own Garboder. We can hit for weakness, which is what this makes things crazy. We'll sit up Trubbish, put down Garboder, and we'll take a knockout. So there is a Garboder. Put a Garboder in the active. We will choice ban it, because why not? The ends us. I don't want to draw into it, and I'm just going to trash and light. Just going to hit for weakness, do a ton of damage. Oh, we actually don't take a knockout? Oh my goodness, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we missed a the knockout there, oh boy. All right, so that's not good, but he'll take a knockout of our boater. And then, man. Man, didn't know we whiffed the knockout. So there is his own guard boater coming out, okay. We only have four of the discard piles, so it's like you're to the bench, okay. No, I thought he had enough. Oh, we we didn't have the, uh... Oh, this is not good, guys. He's going to attack with his and hit for weakness. There's a field blower getting rid of our stuff. All right. That's not good. Okay. Um... Huh. I really need him to end us. All right, this is Ninja Boy. Is he going to swap out this to Tauros? Yep, there's a Tauros coming down. All right, so he's going to swap out that for Tauros. There's a Trash Lance for the knockout, going down to three. All right, thank you, Wit Hip, for the follow. Appreciate it, bud. Uh, there's a Wobbuffet, okay, so. All right, so what I'm gonna do something that's like really spicy, I'm gonna put down Wobbuffet. I'm gonna Ninja Boy the active into a tr Shaman, okay. I am going to uh, put down Tauros and Sky Return for 30. Instead of the Wobbuffet, okay? <laughs> Onto our opponent's turn. We'll see what happens. I think that's the best play we had. Um, he can take a knockout right now, go down to two. And then we can shame him for a Lysander, bring up the Tauros. No, he doesn't have a Lysander, but we might lose this game now. So DC Tauros, was he a Via Seeker? For a Hex Maniac, shutting down abilities, oh boy. And that's what give him the game, actually. Uh, all right, there's a Hex Maniac, okay. We'll see a Trash Lynch for the knockout. And yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, that turn when he end us, it got rid of the, uh, the Field Blower of our hand. It's what really ruined us. So instead of the Tauros, he can use his GX attack. So there's a Psychic Energy, okay. Um, We can put a DC the active and just... Horn attack for 60. And just hope he doesn't have anything. If we tell him to make a license, we can bring up this guy. 
So let's see. Do we top deck a Lysander? We we had a VS thing. We could have brought up the Taurus last turn. So DC active. He ret uh, retreat, sit up the Taurus, and take a knockout here. And he will take this game. Oh, no. Get us his revenge. We actually did beat Tamon in another video. So there we go. Tamon taking his revenge. All right. So there we go.